ICN TV Network and People's Daily signs a contract in San Francisco for future cooperation in shows exchange and media resources sharing. West Coast Bureau Chief of People's Daily Online Wu Xia and ICN San Francisco General Manager He Yibing meet on Wednesday at ICN San Francisco and exchange ideas about the cooperation. I think 嗯，你们可能在市场化方面比我们要成熟点，毕竟你们经验比我们多来的这儿，对吧？ The collaboration provides a platform for culture and economy in Bay Area, and allow each organization and corporation to better develop their business on both stations. Meanwhile, ICN San Francisco and People's Daily render the opportunity for organizations in mainland China to promote themselves and attract investment from the U.S. through this cooperation. Justin Jia, ICN San Francisco. Nowhere else in California has the debate over the use of student test scores to grade teachers gained more attention than in the Los Angeles Unified School District. Los Angeles Unified has become a testing ground to increase accountability for teachers, a movement that has gained speed across the nation. The hope is that schools will improve student achievement by better identifying which teachers are excelling, which are struggling, and which need to be removed from the classroom altogether. The outcome in Los Angeles will have repercussions throughout the state as pressure mounts to improve the state's lagging achievement and qualify for federal funding. Although the use of test scores remains the most controversial piece of the evaluations, it remains to be seen how the main portion of the evaluations, which are based on intensive qualitative measures of a teacher's performance, will affect schools and classrooms. ICN San Francisco reports. The Supreme Court ruled Thursday that human genes cannot be patented, a decision with both immediate benefits for some breast and ovarian cancer patients and long-lasting repercussions for biotechnology research. Myriad Genetics had an exclusive patent on the isolated form of genes that can foretell an increased genetic risk of cancer, essentially creating a monopoly. The decision represents a victory for cancer patients, researchers, and geneticists who claim that a single company's patent raised costs, restricted research, and sometimes forced women to have breasts or ovaries removed without sufficient facts or second opinions. Justice Clarence Thomas wrote the decision for a unanimous court. Myriad did not create anything. To be sure, it found an important and useful gene, but separating that gene from its surrounding genetic material is not an act of invention. Myriad and the broad array of industry trade groups argued that without patent protection, research and development would dry up. Doctors, geneticists, women's health groups, and cancer patients contended that competition would lower prices, improve outcomes, and lead to more discoveries. ICN San Francisco reports.